Hi, this video will show the some of the enhancements made to the recipe balancer module. So from the recipes module, um, just click on uh, a recipe. I'm going to choose chicken and rice and click on the recipe balancer. We've already opened this up, so it's just it will just uh, automatically go to it. So here we've made a few changes to the ingredient list. Um, you'll notice that at the footer of the ingredient list, we have the number of ingredients. So in case you need to see this a little bit better, you can just move this down or up. We'll just have this like this. Um, then over here at the on the ribbon, we have uh, in the ingredient list category, we've got show food ID. So if you click it, you'll see the food ID beside each one of the ingredients. You can hide that or you've got show gram weight. So here we, we can see the gram weight of each one of the ingredients. And at the bottom, you've got the, the total gram weight of, the, of this particular recipe. And you can also see what the calories are for each individual ingredient. So here we've got all the calories. Kelp powder, there's no, there's no calories for this. So it's, it's a zero, same with the bone meal. And at the bottom, you'll see the total amount of calories for this particular recipe. Now, you'll notice that this number here matches this number up here, but that's because all of these values are checked. So let's see what happens when we uncheck one. So if you uncheck it, um, we look at the top and we're seeing the recipe total is now 996 calories, but yet this total here shows 1,080 calories. Now this is because this total will get will give you the exact total of what's stored in the database. So here, when we're checking and unchecking, we're just doing ad hoc design. So here you'll see in the ad hoc design um, what happens if we were to get rid of these two ingredients, and this is the amount. But really, the 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 this particular recipe, all these ingredients are stored. In, and this is what the, the true value is of the ingredients. So again, this is the clicking and unclicking these check marks here are just for doing your ad hoc design. Uh, the other notable thing that we have is the up and down arrows. And this is for sorting the ingredient list. So we didn't have that before. And it's, it's nice to be able to do this because uh, let's take a look at, at why. So let's go to the uh, reports and look at the basic recipe report and that was for chicken and rice spot and let's choose the chicken and rice recipe submit it and you'll see here at the bottom you've got 240 grams of chicken and then you've got a half a teaspoon of oil canola but if we go back here and here we've got the chicken and then oil canola so let's Let's put the oil and canola up above the chicken. So we'll click this. It's going to sort. So now it's now it's here. So now this is a change in your database. So you can sort this any which way you want. And if we go back to the uh, report viewer and resubmit it, you'll see that now the the report shows what you have sorted the ingredients to be. So. That's handy for that. We didn't have that before. Um, the other thing, too, that you can do here is refresh common measures. Now, let me just hide the gram weight and the calories for a second. And you can look at the omega-3. See, these are the common measures. We've got teaspoons and grams. But if you were to go to the food module and add a common measure, for this uh, ingredient, let's let's just see what happens here. Um, this is S0001. So let's go here to the food and supplements. And we're going to search for this particular ingredient, 0001. Search for it, omega-3. So you can either double click this or highlight it and click the view. So uh, if you were adding, if it's a user-defined um, 
food or supplement that you've added yourself, you'll be able to edit any of these ingredients. If it's if it comes from us, and it's part of the database, you can just view it. However, you're you're always allowed to change or add a common measure. So if you wanted to add a common measure, let's say uh, a tablespoon. So one ta tablespoon is is equal to three teaspoons, and so if we're going to add it, we would add one tablespoon, and it, since it's three times five, it would be 15. So let's just try that. So we want one, and then we want tablespoon, and we've got tablespoon here. And we know that one tablespoon is equal to three teaspoons, so we know it's going to be three times five um, grams, so it's going to be 15 grams. So that's all you have to do, and you click Add. And so now we have a, another common measure. So let's go back to the balanced chicken and rice, and we're, we're, we can see here that we've only got teaspoons and grams, but now we can refresh these common measures. And if you look, you'll see that we now can see the, the tablespoon. So that's all you have to do for that. Now, one other thing that I'd like to show you that we've done is um, we've added this integrity check. So if you click on the integrity check, it will show you if this needs to be repaired. Now here there's a very slight difference from the saturated fats, polyunsaturated fats, and the pet daily energy value here. So you see that the database value is 1,073, but we had um, our nutrient total value, but this is for the nutrient total record, is 1,056. So let's run the repair. And what that will do is update the nutrient total record. Now this nutrient total record gets used in the reports and in the diet tracker in our upcoming scratch pad module. So if we check the, the integrity check again, you'll see that all of these values are OK. And there's just one button that says OK, click to exit. So that's, that's fine. So And I want to show you one other thing that you can do. Here's the balance liv liver, eggs, and rice for spot. So let's look at the integrity check. And you'll see that you we, we also need to run the repair because the, the pet daily energy requirements are different. But if we were just to change one of the values in here, let's look at the egg, we'll change it to three. And then, and I, of course I'd press enter. So let's change it back to the way it was, four. And now we're gonna go to, back to the integrity check. And you'll see that we didn't need to click it, the run repair, because uh, since we we changed an amount in the ingredient list, it automatically updated the nutrient total record, and we can see that everything's fine. So uh, this is just if whenever you're changing the ingredient amount, it should automatically change the nutrient total record, which again we use in reports. Um, but just in case we've got this integrity check, you might want to run it on on occasion just to make sure that everything's okay. And that's it for the for all the new functionality in the recipe balancer module. Thank you for watching.